Danger. Platinum salts are among the most toxic substances known. Contact with the skin or breathing the airborne salts must be avoided. In this video, I'll be making hexachlorplatinic acid, which is platinum dissolved in aqua regia, and hexachloroplatinate, which is a platinum salt precipitated with ammonium chloride. Halogeno platinum compounds are among the most potent respiratory and skin sensitizers known and will cause platinosis with symptoms taking months or years to appear. Platinosis symptoms are progressive, irreversible, and incurable, affecting the eyes, respiratory system, and skin of the victim. This cannot be overemphasized. Do not try this in your home or in your backyard. Okay, I've got a platinum coin here. I'm going to open this up. I ordered it online. It was $284. I'm going to open it up and see what we got here. There it is, quarter ounce platinum coin. Well, uh, one quarter troy ounce, nine 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 five platinum coin. We're gonna refine this. All right, we'll put it in the rollers here. Get started. And there it goes. It's first pass. We're trying to roll this thing out as thin as we can because platinum does not like to go in solution. And the thinner we got it, the more surface area we'll be able to present to the, uh, to the chemicals to get it to dissolve. That's third pass. That's the fourth pass, it's getting pretty thin. Oil now. Oh, yeah. What's the measurement? I can't see it. Uh, 0.27 millimeters. Cool deal. That should be thin enough. Hello, Sweet Tips here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I've got a piece of pure platinum here. That was a coin. We rolled it out flat. And what I'm going to be doing today is practicing refining platinum using this pure platinum coin. First step here is to uh, go ahead and weigh the piece of platinum that we're going to practice on. Okay, we got 7.8 grams. So I'll go ahead and cut Seven. this uh, thinned out platinum coin into thin strips. Some metal shears here. About a quarter inch wide or so, I guess. Now I'll take a couple pairs of pliers here and twist these into, uh, well, you'll see what I mean. I want to twist these now so that they'll, uh, they won't lay flat on the bottom of the reaction vessel when I put the aqua regia in. We've twisted each piece of metal here into a little coil so that they uh, don't lay flat on the bottom of the reaction vessel. Next step is to, uh, incinerate them to burn off any oils that they might have on them. Okay, before I uh, anneal the uh, platinum, I want to show you the uh, setup I got here. I've got a hot plate stir. I've got a stir bar inside of a 500 uh, milliliter round bottom boiling flask with three necks on it. I've got over here a connection to go ahead and add some solids or chemicals. I've got a uh, reflux condenser set up here. Since we're going to be with, dealing with some uh, pretty hazardous fumes, I want to get everything to stay in that reaction vessel. And then I got a uh, addition funnel set up over here so I can add nitric acid to that. The, uh, the uh, condenser, I've got a little pond pump down in there that's taking water out of this bucket, feeding it up to the condenser, and then back down right into the bucket. I'll be adding some ice to that to make sure it's kept nice and cool. 
measure out 100 ml of hydrochloric acid. Now I'll add the acid to the uh, to the boiling flask. I'm going to heat each piece of platinum to redness and add it to the flask. I think it's neat to point out that when you heat this metal red hot, when it cools back down, you can't even tell that the flame's been on. It's still bright, shiny metal. measure out 10 ml of concentrated nitric acid. Here you can see I actually measured out about 11 ml of nitric acid. Go ahead and add that to the addition funnel now. tower here. Big chunk of ice in a cottage cheese can. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, nitric acid here and uh, see if I can just get it to start trickling down in there. There it goes. The reaction's been going on now for about a half hour, a little over maybe. I can still see some uh, pieces of metal down in the bottom of the flask down there. I added uh, 25 more ml of hydrochloric and 5 more ml of concentrated nitric. Wanted to give you a shot of my cooling tower here. I got it full of ice. So I got some nice cool water going up that condenser and trying to keep the uh, any particulate or any kind of droplets from uh, escaping into the atmosphere. Well, the metal's dissolving nicely in the, in the hot aqua region, and uh, I just got to tell you, I got to admit, it's kind of creepy sitting here right next to a substance that's this toxic. Uh, I would uh, discourage anyone from trying to do this uh, out in a backyard setup or any kind of thing where you don't have the proper ventilation and uh, proper safety equipment. I've got gloves that go up past my elbows. I'm wearing a respirator when I'm mi uh, mixing the chemicals and putting them in there. And after doing the research and finding out how toxic this stuff really is, it's just uh, it's kind of frightening. So uh, just uh, I would I would discourage anyone from trying this on their own. Now, wouldn't you know it, the clock uh, decided to start, uh, the battery started going low right in the middle of this thing. Murphy's Law.
I'm going to do now is reach down in there with a uh, stirring rod and get a little bit on the tip of the stirring rod and put it on a piece of paper and do a stannous test. That dark orange stain is a positive indication for platinum in solution. Here I do a stannous chloride test using my platinum standard test solution containing one gram per liter concentration of dissolved platinum. With the standard test solution that contains one gram per liter on the left and the Stannis test from the reaction vessel on the right, I can compare the two and get an idea of the concentration of the hexachloroplatinic acid in the reaction vessel. In this segment, I'm adding 2 ml of concentrated nitric acid to the addition funnel. Looking down into the reaction vessel, I can still see a couple pieces of platinum. So I'm going to add this 2 ml of nitric acid and see if I can get it all to go into solution. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's still a couple of pieces of undissolved metal on the bottom of that flask. Here I pour 10 ml of hydrochloric mixed with 2 ml of nitric acid into the addition funnel. Now I open the stopcock and allow the fresh acids to trickle down into the reaction vessel. Just under five hours into the reaction here, and uh, I went out and bought some more ice, another bag of ice to replenish my uh, cooling tower here. I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, continue to cook until I'm quite certain that all the platinum has gone into solution. Here's some small pieces of platinum that I've been saving until after I gained some experience. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to refine this later on. It's going to have some other platinum group metals in it, not pure platinum. It's going to have probably some iridium and rhodium in it, I think. And uh, what we'll do here is uh, we'll try to do a hydrolysis on this and see if we can get some pure platinum out of that. That'll be in another video. I checked the reaction vessel and I can't see any more pieces of metal in there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just turn the heat off here and let it cool down to room temperature. I've got a handheld digital thermometer here and I'm checking the temperature. This, uh, this bowl looks like it's still up around 195 degrees. I'll try to move the uh, stir out of the way and get that sand off of the, uh, off the reaction vessel if I can do this. I've removed the sand and I'm going to use a hot water bath to uh, evaporate the solution down to a syrup so I can do a classic denoxing with hydrochloric acid. Okay, I was able to successfully get 100% of the platinum to go into solution. Uh, I've got it out there evaporating on a uh, hot water bath right now. It'll take several hours to uh, evaporate the solution down to a syrup and then I'll uh, add some uh, hydrochloric acid to drive off any excess nitric acid that might be in there. There's probably going to be some in there since this is my first time doing this. 
Uh, and then tomorrow what we'll do is once we get it evaporated down and denoxed, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, hit it with some ammonium chloride solution. We'll precipitate the uh, pure platinum salt and then I'll get it into a, uh, into a uh, fused quartz dish and we'll burn off the ammonium chloride and uh, produce some pure platinum sponge. Thanks for watching. This concludes part one and we'll start with part two tomorrow. Hello YouTube viewers, stay tuned for some exciting new videos coming up including catalytic converter beads, some catalytic converters themselves recovering platinum group metals, and some jeweler's polish sweeps recovered from a jeweler's workbench. Coming soon.